All right, everybody, welcome back to another installment of the Windham Witness. Sorry, randomizer mod. Hope you are all well. And it's part five on Twitch, or if you're watching along on YouTube, this will be part 17 of the playthrough. And at the end of uh, part 16, or stream four, we had just done the color puzzles, made our way over here, and completed this beast of a puzzle, which is the, um, yeah, you've got to solve all five five panels um, as you go along, adapting your solution accordingly. Um, anyway, it's time now to make our second attempt here at this. Now, I have a hunch we could just do something like that. And there we go. We are out. Now, I'm pretty sure maybe the randomizer has made that a little bit easier than it normally is. Because I remember, like, that puzzle, there is a lot of to and and fro and backwards and forwards in the original. So I can only assume that I got quite lucky with that randomizer and that puzzle in that... Um, it was relatively straightforward and we could just make our way to the exit with only having to do it um one time um well yeah let's um let's head on down if i actually select the end point as opposed to the other start point i just noticed though i missed something I know we're not worrying too much about extra puzzles, but I saw it, therefore I wanted to do it. Anywho, let's jump down, shall we? Some more models here, which is all pretty darn sweet. Here we are. Quite interesting, actually, that you can't pick that up from down here. We can pick it up from down here, but the thing is, the the yellow bridge is in the way for me here, so I wouldn't actually be able to to solve that. Uh, anyway, let's let's have a look at this one. And um, I remember a few streams ago, Mika mentioned something about um, LB has a tool which can solve certain things. And this is, this is actually that puzzle. So LB came up with a tool where you can enter in which shapes you get here, and it will randomize the, the big shapes, if I remember rightly. Um, of course, what the, the premise of this puzzle was is whichever shape you draw on here is the shape you should then use on the big grid because this whole floor turns into a big grid which is very clever indeed um anywho we can't use this one here so we can just do something like this again Do something like that, and we pick this one up. Yes, we can. Now, that's got to go there. And then that would have to go straight up. Oh, no, there's more than that there. Sorry, I, I 
misinterpreted that. Um, not sure why that's wrong, though. That's that shape. That's that shape. Yeah. Okay. This one has to be the orientation is at the minute. Big question is how do we obtain that? So yeah, it's got to be that if we, if. That's on the assumption. Well, it, it has to be that because we can't make that other shape in the top right hand corner. That's what we had. Other alternative is that. But how do we achieve that and then get out the top? That's the big question there, isn't it? And I don't know that it's actually, it's possible, is it? So that would have to be contained within that one itself, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure, though, that this one here is not right. But again... How would I collect that one up? Oh, well, I could actually change. That. And. Okay, so what's my other options here? Okay, I think that might be it. We were to do something like this. Because it's symmetry, though, we've got to be able to make the same shape with both of these, right? So that's six. But here, we can only make five. Five, 
three and five. So even if we were to use the square, we would still only be able to make I don't think we can make enough. So this one can only go in one of two orientations, either like that, or like that, or like that. And the one that seems to work is that. How do you collect both of those up? Because the symmetry makes it go the opposite direction, although That's why I think I need to do something like that. Oh, hold on. Do that. Okay, that would work. That would contain both of those together. Yeah, that would make that. Oh, hold on. Got it. I got it. It is just a two by three stacked on top of each other. 
Isn't it? No? I don't know why that one didn't work. The bottom one should just be that. That would only work if those were split across each other. It's the symmetry, which is really the big issue. Just thinking again, though, there is definitely no way, and I apologise, there has been no game audio up until this point, so I apologise for the first 17 minutes or so on YouTube. Um, you have missed the sound of water dripping. Hold on. <laughs> What's going on, Deathwish? I thought you were the only one who had audio issues, right? How dare you plague me with your problems? <laughs> hey, damn brother. How do you make something symmetrical? Actually, that's a dumb question. How do you make something symmetrical when you've got a different number of blocks? I'm pretty sure the short answer is you don't. Now, I wonder if there is something... I still stand by the fact that that would encompass those two at the bottom.
There's no way to, like, get that shape. Because of the position. There would be no way to get around... So, uh, just let me check something real quick. Just want to see something. So, there's nothing on the known issues, at least. See, if I had... Um, this, for instance. Then do something like that. I, I don't understand why this is... Why are these blinking at me when... That would need one of them to be, like, backwards way on. Which would then be, like, this problem that we've been having... That shape there is impossible. There is... You cannot use that one there. Because there is no way to draw it. Think about this another way. You could have this. Oh, hold on. Uh. Oh, how did I do this again? Yeah, I came in from this side here, right? Okay. We can come in here, draw that like that. Then we need to draw... do this bit though so that could be that
these would have to be opposites and then you're still left with the problem that still left with the problem that you haven't included the one on the top right and also the other problem is two L shapes are opposite Unless we do that. Then we're still not including the top right and it doesn't like that. So I'm, I'm perplexed. <laughs> <laughs> LB. <gasps> oh dear. Hello. 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 Anybody home? Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Like I say, I I want to get a top-down view of this puzzle, but I'm starting to think the randomizer is giving me a dud on this puzzle because someone else did this one. Um. The problem is, right, it's a symmetry puzzle and you have to use your shapes but I've got an odd number of shapes and I don't know how I could... I mean... I guess, well, that doesn't really particularly matter if it's... Mm, hold on. Uh, is it like on a, on a... Is it on a grid? Like a 5x5 five five or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I mean... It, I don't know. I don't know what this. I haven't really seen much of anything because you're coming in at the end, and it's just, it just looks like normal witness to me. If I didn't know any better, it would still be the yeah. Uh, but anyway.